Traveler's diarrhea is a common travel-related illness and is primarily caused by ingestion of contaminated food or water. Attack rates range from 30% to 70% of travelers depending on the destination and season of travel. Poor hygiene practice in local restaurants is likely the largest contributor to the risk for traveler's diarrhea. Traveler's diarrhea is a clinical syndrome that can result from a variety of intestinal pathogens. Bacterial pathogens are the predominant risk thought to account for up to 80% to 90% of traveler's diarrhea. If we talk about the pathogenesis of traveler's diarrhea, bacteria are the most common cause. Overall, the most common pathogen identified is enterotoxigenic Escherichia coli, followed by Campylobacter jejuni, Shigella species, and Salmonella species. Viral diarrhea can be caused by a number of pathogens, including norovirus, rotavirus, and astrovirus. Giardia is the main protozoal pathogen found in traveler's diarrhea. Entamoeba histolytica is a relatively uncommon cause of traveler's diarrhea. The risk for cyclospora is highly geographic and seasonal. The most well-known risks are in Nepal, Peru, Haiti, and Guatemala. Traveler's diarrhea occurs equally in male and female travelers and is more common in young adult travelers than in older travelers. Now let us discuss the symptoms of traveler's diarrhea, bacterial and viral traveler's diarrhea presents with the sudden onset of bothersome symptoms that can range from mild cramps and urgent loose stools to severe abdominal pain, fever, vomiting, and bloody diarrhea. Although with norovirus, vomiting may be more prominent, untreated bacterial diarrhea usually lasts 3 to 7 days, viral diarrhea generally lasts 2 to 3 days. Protozoal diarrhea can persist for weeks to months without treatment. Now let us discuss about the treatment of traveler's diarrhea. Fluids and electrolytes are lost during traveler's diarrhea and replenishment is important, especially in young children or adults with chronic medical illness. For severe fluid loss, replacement is best accomplished with oral rehydration solution ORS. Prepared from packaged oral rehydration salts, such as those provided by the World Health Organization. Secondly, anti-motility agents provide symptomatic relief and are useful therapy in traveler's diarrhea. Synthetic opiates such as loperamide and phenoxylate can reduce frequency of bubble movements and therefore enable travelers to ride on an airplane or bus. Anti-motility agents alone are not recommended for patients with bloody diarrhea or those who have diarrhea and fever. Finally, antibiotics are effective in reducing the duration of diarrhea by about a day in case caused by bacterial pathogens that are susceptible to the particular antibiotic prescribed. Fluoroquinolones may be used to treat moderate to severe traveler's diarrhea, rifaximin that is effective against Escherichia coli bacteria may be used to treat severe non dysentric traveler's diarrhea. And lastly, azithromycin is preferred if dysentery is present and in pregnant women and pediatrics. So, dear viewers, that was all about traveler's diarrhea. I hope you find this video informative. Keep watching Pharmacy D by Asim, and also the links are given below in the description. Follow us on different social media platforms. Thank you.